Hey Ben, hey Alan, finally got everything together. So I'm gonna show you all the components between the jaws and the pallets and everything. So here we go. First up is just naming and what the parts are. We've got the 17.5 inch vice body. Then we've got the vice carrier. That's kind of what causes the jaws to slide back and forth. Then we actually have the jaws back there. And then we have some of the mounting hardware. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a single station vise so you can hold one piece of stock. So first we're gonna put in the vise carrier. So it's gonna slide in from this direction, from this right hand side, okay, just like so. Let's move the camera over. So there it is. All right, so once we have that, we're gonna install a fixed jaw and a sliding jaw. So first we're gonna need just a like your screwdriver, so we're gonna, it's a quarter inch, we're gonna unscrew these set screws. And these set screws are just to plug the holes so that chips and coolant don't get into them, mainly chips. Now each hole is precision board, so they can also hold locating pins. So we're gonna put in two half inch locating pins. So that's gonna be this guy and this guy. You can see they're very tight fits. Now, once we've got that going, we're gonna install one of the jaws. So either one of them, they're the same. They've got precision locating bores. Now there's actually two sides to these, back side and front side. Well, there's no front and back. And yeah, depending on what side you use, uh, we'll use this side and I'll show you why in a bit. So I'm just gonna locate that right on there. So that's gonna go in the bore and then you can see the vice carrier is gonna go underneath just like that. Perfect. And then once we're here, we're gonna secure it down. So we're looking at the back side here. To secure it down, all you're gonna need is one of these set screws. It's got this kind of blunt edge right there. So that's gonna go straight in just like that. You're gonna screw it in. That's it. Then that's how you secure the fixed jaw. All right, now we're gonna install the sliding jaw. So that's this guy. Again, identical pieces. Now this one doesn't have any uh, dowel pins to fixate it because it's gonna move back and forth. All we're gonna need is we're gonna need a spring plunger screw in the back. So it's got some, some give to it, you can see. Now I'm gonna match that side. So we're gonna use the dovetail side. So this is gonna face forward, just like that. We're gonna have to get that in there. So I'm gonna screw this in maybe halfway and then I'll use the hex key. So. Do it like halfway, just like that, slip it in. And then we're gonna go in here, the hex key. And according to the instructions, you generally wanna do it close to flush, but not completely, because you still want some give. Ideally, I'm using a ball end mill, uh, ball end Allen, but that's what I got. All right, so if it's done correctly, you should be able to push it and there should be some give, so. You guys can see there, it's a little bit, a little bit of give there. That helps with the clamping and unclamping. All right, so we now have a setup, single jaw station, and then you just use a, you know, conventional vice handle, and you know you can clamp on stuff. Now the cool part is that you can install all sorts of jaws. So we're going to install those jaws uh, onto this guy right here. Okay, so we've got some standard six inch by two inch by an inch and a half thick. So that's six inches wide. And then it's gonna be two inches tall and then half inch, one and a half inches deep. So as you can see, it's got this dovetail locating feature, oops, just like there. Um, you can see the one side's taller than the other. And it also has that locating boss that actually locates into one of those two. So that's super repeatable. So when you take it out, it goes right back in. So in order to install that, we're gonna unscrew these guys here. All you need is a 532. So I'm gonna just put that in. So unscrew that. Okay, and then this should just go straight in like that. As you can see, it's got absolutely no play. I'm gonna hold that in and then I'm gonna screw it in. That goes in, okay. And then simply same thing goes uh, for the other side, just like so.
And that's how you install a single station vise. Again, if you wanted to have, you know, a bigger piece clamp, then I would just move this job back to this guy here and you could have much larger work pieces. What's also cool about these jaws is you can fix your other attachments. For instance, these guys, these tiny little low profile clamps. Sometimes what we've done in the past is we've put, we've got really large plates sitting right on top of the surface from here all the way up to here. And then it clamps with the, these super low profile grips. So there's a lot of different applications. As you can see, this jaw uh, can be fixtured onto the dovetail side as well. So, and if you guys aren't used to this dovetail style, there's also the conventional uh, front, uh, this style of jaw where there's just two bolts in the front is super, super common. Um, that's kind of like the old industry standard, but uh, I find that the dovetails are much quicker and they're also way more repeatable. So that's how you do a single station jaw. All right, so before I switch this out to the pallet, I want to show you guys, you know, if, if we're going to fix your, let's say we move into a different job and I'm going to put on over there, this guy over here is the, whoops, got that out too much. I'm going to bring in the, I believe that's the Lander 1 scales. So I'm going to take these out real quick. Okay, so here's, this is a, actually a 12-inch jaw. They sell six eight and 12. I'm just going to shimmy this in until I locate. Boom, just like that. And then that goes in just like so. And for your reference, Orange Vice sells these blanks so that you can machine into them. And then once those are in, um, I use that. We machine that so that we can locate it. That's our origin right there. And then it's repeatable every time. And then boom, you're going to clamp two Lander scales, one left, one right, um, or the other, vice versa, just like that. All right, before we move on to the actual pallet, I want to show you guys really quickly what a double station vise looks like. So we're going to remove this guy right here. So first thing we're doing, we're going to remove that set screw, and then we're going to just take that off. All right, so we're going to take this guy off. Okay, now, <clears throat> if you notice, so this one... Um, so this is just kind of like a hard jaw, fixed jaw. There's no, you can actually machine into this if you wanted to. Now, if you wanted to have, let's say, machinable jaws like this or like this on both operations, you can install the center dovetail jaw. So it's just like the other guys. So you can see that it has the dovetail feature on the front and the back. And the way it works is that it's got two locating dowel pins at the bottom, just like the other guys. And then on top, there's bolts that go through just like that. And these screw right down into the vice body on one of these, depending on where you want to place it super quick. And what's really neat actually is that if the dowel pin gets stuck on the inside, you can actually use that set screw right there and you can actually screw in uh, so that it can push down onto that dowel pin and that'll push this guy up and it'll be easy to remove. It's really useful. All right, so now we're gonna change over to the pallet system. So let's say you're done using these jaws. I'm gonna unscrew the guy in the back. So this guy's gonna come out and then I'm going to kind of shimmy this back and forth. This should come out. You have to pull it kind of straight up. I'm gonna wrestle with it a little bit. Again, if I had trouble, I can just screw down on those two guys right there. So this comes right out and I can just, I can even keep this on here if I don't wanna take it off. All right, now we just gotta remove those dowel pins up there. So we're just gonna take these out, oops. Now if you have trouble, you know, just use pliers. All right, so great. Now we're gonna switch over to the pallet system. So the pallet system is going to be the top left and the bottom right, or the bottom left and the top right. So I'm gonna have to unscrew this guy here. And I'm just gonna move it up here to plug them. And then let me go get the pallet. All right, so this is a 12 by 17 and a half pallet. They also sell six and eight and 10, I believe. So different widths, depending on how big your, your part is. Um, so this is the widest one and it lets us hold two handles. You can see we have operation one and two. This is what we use to make the Mako bottle opener handles. 
So let's take a quick look underneath. This is what you buy from, from Orange. So you can see it's got two receiver bushings, one there and one there. So what we got to do first is we got to install some dowel pins. So you can use the long ones, but they're harder to get out. So the short ones work great. So it's going to go one in there like that. And then one more up there like that. Let's put this over. So you can see here that the locating is done by this. And then the vice carrier, it clamps onto the piece by grabbing onto these two pieces right here, these dovetails. So let me try to move this camera real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up and then we're gonna lift it right on. All right, that's it. So it's extremely repeatable. Uh, in my experience, it's usually one or two tenths. And then once that's in, I'm gonna tighten the tighten this down. And like all things machining, I recommend after tighten this down that you, you torque it, although you don't really need to for this application. So that's locked and ready to go. And then once this pallet's done, let's say you've got another one outside the machine waiting at idle. All you gotta do is pull off the coolant, pull off the chips, unscrew this, you don't even need that many rotations. And then from there, you just pop it right off. Then pop on the other one, tighten it, whoops, tighten it up, and that's it.